I know some of the players got excited about that number four ranking, but how do you how do you keep them keep it calm about stuff like that? Uh, you know, it's a good ranking, but at the end of the day, you know, it has nothing to do with our season. You know, we got a lot of football left to play. So we got to focus on that and not the ranking we got because, I mean, now that we're in there, you know, all we got to do is win out and play our game and continue to stay focused and execute, and, you know, there's nothing that can stop us. Jared, do you get yelled at if you talk about the ranking? Like, are you not? I have to, we kind of <laughs> did. <laughs> I mean, today, I mean, I would imagine if I did, I don't talk about it, so I wouldn't know yet, but I imagine if we did, you know, he probably would be kind of mad because probably think we're, that's what we're focused on or we're not. Yeah, it's outside the scope of things, right? You have like a big enough challenge yeah. just with the team in front of you. Tell me about that, you know, the, the combination of offensive line and running backs that they have. Oh, great team. You know, they're very good at what they do. Uh, I, let, I think their season speaks for itself. Um, you know, we got to come and play our game. You know, we got to come ready to play. They have great running backs. They uh, run their plays good. They execute the play is good. You know, we got to come. We got to tackle. We got to, you know, get the field on third down. You guys have been doing a great job of stopping the run. It's really strength on strength, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you know, tell me about that. Do you guys embrace that challenge? Is it, oh, is yeah. it we, different we, than others? No, we embrace every challenge. You know, it don't matter who we playing. You know, we got standards that we want to live up to. And this would be physical on defense, you know, dominate the line of scrimmage. And that's what we want to do each and every Sunday when we come out to play. I know every SEC game is a grind. It doesn't matter who you're playing. But in your past experience, has this game been more physical than others? Is it, is it that much more grinded out with LSU? Oh, yeah. It definitely is. You know, it goes down all the way to the fourth quarter. When the clock hits zeros, it may go beyond the fourth quarter, you know. It's a, a, who always is coming ready to play real football. Last year's game, I mean, there's a lot of grinding, especially in the trenches like there is always. And there's a kind of talk that the physicality of Alabama kind of took a hit in that game because LSU hit it right in the mouth and y'all kind of bent a little bit. Is that kind of weighing your mind a little bit? No, it doesn't. No, that was last year. You know, last season was last season. They could hit us, whatever. You could bend, but as long as you don't break, you know, we got to come back this year. It's a new year, a new team, new defense, and, you know, we're focused and ready. You use the term real football. What's that definition? Uh, just real football, what people been wanting to see, not spreading the ball out, but actually lining up on the center, giving the ball off, you know, kind of like the old days. The, uh, the numbers would say that, that right now Fournette is the best running back in the country. Do you think he's the best running back in the country? That's what the numbers say. Anything else? Yeah, what do you think about, you know, him versus Henry and just, you know, the treat like for fans to see, you know, the two best in the SEC go head to head against each other? That's for the fans. I'm on the field playing too. Yeah. Okay. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks. You gotta be excited about this one. Is this is this one pretty special? Oh, well, it's always special when we play as you like Coach Saban said, it's one game at a time, so this is our next opponent, so this is who we're psyched for and this is who we're preparing for. This is one that, you know, when you're in, in high school, you know, I know a lot of guys end up on kind of both sides of this. Do you, do you see that when you're on the field? Like, man, I saw that guy at this, you know, All-American game and that guy and that, that kind of thing? Maybe a little bit after the game, but before the game, you're so focused and locked in on what you got to do and executing your assignments and dominating your boss, you really don't have time to focus on that. Thoughts on Leonard Fournette. I know there's been a lot made about it. It's a great year. What challenges he has presented? Great back, physical back. We're going to go out there, strike blockers, wrap up and tackle, 11 hats to the ball. Getting a chance to play with uh, Tim Williams. How special has he been this season? Getting to the quarterback, uh, really coming into his own right now. Oh man, I love playing with Tim. He's definitely, you know, a, a versatile back. I mean, um, versatile in off the edge, rush, you know. Great speed, great power. So he's definitely a good <laughs> asset to have for this defense, and I'm, I'm happy to play beside him. How much, John? How much tape of, of Fournette have you watched? And do you think he and Derek are they similar backs? Are they different styles? What do you think? I feel, yeah, I feel like they're very similar. You know, definitely physical backs. They like to engage in contact instead of shying away from it. You know, so we like playing backs like Leonard Fournette. We're excited for the opportunity and the challenge, and we're going to be ready Saturday. I know you guys have a job to do. What do you think about the, the fan experience of being able to see? maybe two of the best backs in the country going head to head against each other. Should be fun, something that shouldn't be taken for granted. You know, you never know how often this is going to be. So from a fan's perspective, they definitely should, you know, take in the moment and enjoy it. How about you guys, though, in the job that you all have done as a, as a front four, but also, you know, front seven, really, in, in stopping the run so far this year? We've been playing to our standard, you know. That we've been playing to the standard that the coach has set from the beginning of the year. So we we definitely could have been playing a lot better this year. So we're we're not happy about anything we've done. We're not satisfied about anything we've done. We're just trying to get better.
Going into that, I know you, you leaders on this team are going to keep an even keel. How do you keep the younger guys on an even keel with this number four playoff ranking? Oh, we're not even worried about the playoff ranking because if we don't win this game, it means nothing. But as for the younger players, either you're with us or you're not, you're, or you're against us. That's just the mentality. If, if you're going to help this team, you got to do everything you can. And if not, you just need to step aside and, and just let, let this train keep moving. So we're just focused on getting better day in and day out. And if you're not with us, you're, you're against us. Strong possibility of showers. Any, do you favor wet conditions or not, or does it matter? Like, well, we love playing in the rain, snow, sleet. It, it really doesn't matter. I mean, we be playing in the park a lot. We really don't care. So it is what it is. What do you see out of that offensive line? They've, they've got a, a couple of guys who've you know had some accolades and stuff like that. Line. Definitely a physical group up front. They like to you know come off the ball, flat back, low hat. But like I said before, we we love that as a defensive front. So we're, we're, in, we're we want it. That's what we've been waiting for all year. So we're excited for this matchup. John, do you feel like these teams kind of mirror each other? Just how they're built, the, the size, the style, all those kind of things. Dave, I feel like there's a lot of similarities, but at the same time, there's a lot of things that that are different about us. So it's going to be a fun matchup to play. In. What's different? I see the similarities. I see the power running attacks, I see big physical fronts. What's different? Maybe the balance of running pass. I mean, I, I'm not really sure about the offense, but defensive-wise, it's pretty similar. But, you know, there's always going to be things different between teams. Yeah, so strong running game, but uh, talk about uh, Harris as a quarterback. You know, you see, uh, He's, he's definitely been gaining more confidence throughout the season, so he's definitely got we're gonna have to keep in the pocket, make him throw from the pocket. You know, athletic, fast, so we got to do a good job of rallying to the ball when he does get outside, break the time. Yeah, is his mobility a concern at all? I mean, can he can he get on the move? Oh, he can definitely get on the move, but as a defense, you know, we've been facing this for ever since I've got here, so we're used to this. This is, this is what we know, so we're gonna be ready for it come Saturday.